Good morning, Junior Churchers. I'm super excited that you've joined again today for a special devotion. I am excited to be with you. It's just me, Miss Missy, today. But I have been watching all the devotions that you guys have been watching this week, and I'm super excited that I get to bring you a devotion on the topic of singing. One of the things that I was thinking about when we have a birthday, we have celebrations. We might have balloons and birthday cake and our friends over to come and celebrate. It's a grand time. But usually in a birthday celebration, there's always one thing in common. See if you can recognize this song. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear friend. Happy birthday to you. Wasn't that fun? Yes, the happy birthday song. And everybody loves to take that moment to sing happy birthday, especially to you, the person that we're coming around to celebrate. So that got me thinking, what else can we celebrate in song? Maybe somebody's graduating or getting a special award and we want to sing to them a special little ditty. This is one of a very fun songs of my favorite. Hold on, watch this one. For you're a jolly good fellow, for you're a jolly good fellow, for you're a jolly good good fellow, and nobody can deny. Wasn't that one fun? That's really that's really a great song to sing to somebody who's getting a special award or you just want to congratulate them on a job well done. Another time that we celebrate is maybe on the 4th of July. We celebrate our country and our nation and the freedoms that we have. We might sing the Star Spangled Banner. This is a great way to esteem those who have fought for our freedoms or also just esteem the flag that we have and that is so precious to us. What then should we celebrate God? How can we celebrate the mighty creator, the one who created the heavens and the earth and the stars and decided that he wanted you here too? Well, what if we sing to him and celebrated him through song? I think that's a great way. You know, we've heard this week how music affects our mood in 1 Samuel 16, 25, or how we can praise him with a new song in Psalm 149, or how we should make a joyful noise and serve him with gladness in Psalm 100. I think singing to him is pretty special. I think God likes it a lot. He does mention it quite often in his Bible. Well, here's another verse for you guys, and this one's really awesome. It's one of my very favorite. I have it marked in my Bible special. It's Ephesians 5.19. It says, speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melodies in your heart to the Lord. Guys, we can celebrate and honor the Lord just as if we were celebrating you on your birthday or or maybe somebody who's getting a ward or the flag on the in the national anthem, we can celebrate God too by singing and making melodies in our hearts. You guys, I have a special song and it comes from our songbook like Mr. Bowser said in uh, Psalm 89. Listen to this song. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. I will sing, I will sing, I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord. And with my mouth will I make known thy faithfulness, thy faithfulness. And with my mouth will I make known thy faithfulness to all generations. Isn't that neat? That's just another way that we can praise God is by singing to him. And guys, he loves it. He considers it a special gift. Well, I hope that you've enjoyed these devotions. I know that I have, and I know that I've grown in them. And I just thank you for coming and joining me today. I love you, and I'm so excited to see you back in church really soon. Have a great day, guys. Bye.